friends welcome to my channel Thanesh here text summarization is one of those applications of natural language processing NLP which is bound to have a huge impact on our lives with growing digital media and ever-growing publishing who has the time to go through entire articles documents books to decide whether they are useful or not Thankfully, this technology is already here. Text summarization is broadly divided into two categories. One is extractive summarization and the second one is abstractive summarization. Extractive summarization, these methods rely on extracting several parts such as phrases and sentences from a piece of text and stack them together to create a summary. Therefore, identifying the right sentences for summarization is of utmost importance in an extractive method. Abstractive summarization. These methods use advanced NLP techniques to generate an entirely new summary. Some parts of this summary may not even appear in the original text. In this video, we will be focusing on the Extractive summarization technique. Text rank is an extractive and unsupervised text summarization technique. Let us take a look at the flow of the text rank algorithm that will be following. The first step would be to concatenate all the text contained in the articles, then split the text into individual sentences. In the next step, we will find vector representation, that is word embeddings for each and every sentence. Next step, similarities between sentence vectors are then calculated and stored in a matrix. The similarity matrix is then converted into a graph with sentences as vertices and similarity scores as edges for sentence rank calculation. Finally, a certain number of top ranked sentences from the final sub summary. Being a major tennis buff, I always try to keep myself updated with what's happening in the sport by religiously going through as many online tennis updates as possible. However, this has proven to be a rather difficult job. There are ways too many resources and time is a constraint. Therefore, I decided to design a system that could prepare a bullet point summary for me by scanning through multiple articles. How to go about doing this? That's what I shall show you in this video we will apply the text rank algorithm on a data set of scrapped articles with the aim of creating a nice and concise summary please note that this is essentially a single domain multiple document summarization task that is we will take multiple articles as input and generate a single bullet point summary Multi-domain text summarization is not covered in this video, but feel free to try that out at your end. This is the data set I am using as discussed. So without any further ado, fire up our Google Collab notebook and let us implement what we have learned so far. First, uh, we have imported the libraries. We shall be leveraging for this uh, implementation. Next, let's read our data set. I have shown you the data in the previous section. Now let us 
inspect the data uh, let us take a quick glance at the uh, data we have three columns in our data set article underscore id article underscore text and source we are most interested in the article underscore text column as it contains the text of the articles let's print some of the values of the variables just to see what they look like now we have two options we can either summarize each article individually or we can generate a single summary for all the articles for our purpose we will go ahead with the later split text into sentences now the next step is to break the text into individual sentences we will use the send underscore tokenize function of NLTK, NLTK library to do this. Now download the Glove Word Embeddings. See, uh, Glove uh, Word Embeddings are vector representation of words. These word embeddings will be used to create vectors for our sentences. We could also, we could have also used the bag of words or TFIDF approaches to create uh, uh, features for our sentences but these methods ignore the order of the words and the number of features is usually pretty large. We will be using the pre-trained Wikipedia 2014 plus GigaWord 5 globe vectors which is available. Let us extract the word embeddings or word vectors. Here we are extracting the word vectors. Uh, next is text pre processing. It's always a good practice to make your textual data noise free as much as possible so let's do some basic text cleaning uh, get rid of the you know stop words and uh, commonly used words of language words of a language that is is and the of in etc present in the sentences if you have not download nltk stop words then execute the uh, line of code nltk dot download stop words Let's uh, define a function to uh, remove the stop words. Uh, this function here you can see we have downloaded the stop words. Then 
we have imported the stop words then here this function will download the stop words from our data set we will use clean and underscore sentences to create vectors for sentences in our data with the help of the glow word vectors next is the vector representation of the sentences see now let's create a vectors for our sentences we will first fetch vectors each of size 100 elements for the constituent words in a sentence and then take mean average of those vectors to arrive at a consolidated vector for the sentence for more text processing uh, after this, um, you can uh, do the similarity matrix preparation. The next step is to here you can do the similarity matrix. The next step is to find similarities between the sentences and we will use the cosine similarity approach for this uh, challenge let's create an empty similarity matrix for this task and populate it with the cosine similarities of the sentences let's first define a zero matrix of dimensions uh, n star n we will initialize the matrix with cosine similarity scores of the sentences here n is the number of sentences we will use um, cosine similarity to compute the similarity between pair of sentences uh, we have imported from sklearn uh, this you can see here and initialize the matrix with cosine similarity scores that's what we are doing it here we are initializing the matrix with cosine similarity scores now next is uh, we are going to apply the page rank algorithm before proceeding further let's convert the similarity matrix uh, similarity underscore mat into a graph uh, the nodes of this graph will represent the sentences and the edges will represent the similarity scores between the sentences. On this graph, we will apply the page rank algorithm to arrive at the sentence rankings. You can see here. Here we are doing the page rank algorithm. Next is the summary extraction. Finally, it's time to extract the top n sentences based on their rankings for summary generation. So you have ranked sentences and uh, we have the summary. You can see the summary here. <coughs> 